Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video, we're back on Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version, for something a little bit different because today in this video, we're going to be doing a server showcase. I'm now on the hunt for very underappreciated servers in the Bedrock community. Now, we're very limited because the custom IPs for servers only work for iOS, Android and Windows 10. On those versions of Minecraft, if you go to play servers, you can actually add an external IP. Now, I feel like there's a lot of servers out there that don't get enough attention. Now, on the likes of Xbox and Switch, because PlayStation still do not have servers, you're not able to put in an IP. I do not know if this is something the developers plan to do in the future, but we were always told that when moving from console edition to Bedrock, you'll get servers, you can play all these cool Skyblock and stuff like that. Now don't get me wrong, the servers we do have here being Cubecraft, Mineplex, Lifeboat, Hive, and Mineville City. I think that might be in PvP. It's more like, uh, changed a lot now. It's more storytelling. These are fantastic servers. They offer fantastic Sky Wars, Skyblock, Cake Wars, Egg Wars, Hide and Seek, Murder Mystery. But I don't want to play mini games like that all the time. So I'm kind of on the hunt for servers that offer a different experience. Now today's server that we're going to be checking out is called Imperials. Imperials PE. It currently has 15 out of 100 people online. Um, and this one does have a sky block. I think the sky block in this one offers a very different experience to the other servers. Uh, the IP is right there. It's play.imperials.net. The port is default 19132. So if you guys have any other servers you think I should check out that deserve recognition, let me know down below in the comment section. Apart from that guys, let's go to the server. So when you load up the server, this is what you're faced with. Top left, it tells you your name, it tells you the shop, voting, employee app, Discord. It's quite a very simple layout, which I really like. Now also in today's video, we'll be checking out their store. Now a lot long ago in Minecraft, you can see it just below me. They've introduced um, like a scoreboard, so it tells you your balance, your SP, I think that is. So obviously over time, you're gonna learn and earn more things. Now you do start off by getting given diamond stuff, an iron sword as well, and 32 uh, food, which I think is pretty good, it's a pretty good start. You're not just left in the dark. It says here, welcome to Imperials. Uh, PE Skyblock combined island headhunting island quest player minions many more features and perks start your journey by rebuilding uh, The many destroyed islands and fight the evil overlord for one once and for all and then you've got over here Island headhunting and then something else over there, which I think this is like shop and their discord I think you are you able to like tap on these? No, it's just simply telling you what their Discord thing is. And you can actually apply to be staff if you think you're good enough to be staff. Let's read the island headhunting. When you kill an animal slash monster from a spawner, you will get a head. You can right click slash tap the head to sell it for money and XP. You can type forward slash IS rank up. Let's try it forward slash IS rank up. It says you do not have an island, so we need to go to an island first. Okay, to check how much XP you need until a level, you can get XP from selling heads the same level as you are. Another way to check your progress is look for a percentage on the right side of your screen in game. When you reach a specific level, you begin to gain rewards for leveling up. So it looks like it's going to be level based. Now, I've not joined an island. So let's go to what their server offers in terms of ranks. So this is their shop, Imperial PE. It's a pretty nice layout. It looks like they've taken a lot of time to put into detail here. Um, it looks like featured package and quite popular at the moment is this one. Now, they've got a couple of customers here. So people are buying. It's not like people are buying on their server. I guess people who do enjoy the server are willing to spend a little bit of money on it. It's a nice community by the looks of things. It just explains terms and conditions. Uh, Skyblock, so it looks like it's all, it's a Skyblock server. It's probably the best way to explain it, but with customizations, it's not just a default Skyblock. Instead of having to purchase a Skyblock from the marketplace, you're able to just check out this server for free. Ranks and upgrades. We'll start with ranks, I think. So by default, the ranks we have on this server are stone, lapis, iron, gold, Diamond and emerald and last but not least ruby, which is $35. Let's start off with the cheapest one, which is coming in at $3.50 
which I think once you purchase it, you have the rank for a lifetime. Now, ability to use forward slash kit stone, ability to use forward slash feed, vanish your hunger, ability to use forward slash filter, disables picking up items, uh, stone prefix, stone roll on Discord, and 3,500 in-game currency. So let's compare this to the more expensive one, which is coming in at 35, which is the ruby one. So, ah, previously ranked permission. So you'd have to go through all of them to remember what you would get in the previous one. $35,000 is what you would get in this one with a ruby prefix. By the sounds of things, I've ended up in like a, oh, I've ended up in like a PVP area by the looks of things. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So, you have been combat tagged. So I'm in a combat zone right now by the looks of things. I don't know. We'll just see how we get on here. This guy's obviously going to be a lot stronger than me, but we, we can manage to steal stuff. Okay. By the looks of things, you're able to steal. I got a bow. I got a diamond sword too. So it's a sky block that, by the looks of things, offers some form of PvP as well. I don't know what he had. He didn't really have anything. Did he? I don't really think he dropped anything. You're welcome. I didn't need any of it. <laughs> he says Xbox. <laughs> I'm not an Xbox. All right, so... Yeah, I've got two kills. So it tells you your kills and your deaths. Have you got a forward slash? Can we get a forward slash spawn? Is that a thing? Because I want to check out the island thing. So it does offer a PvP aspect if you wanted to show how good you were, which I think is a pretty good idea. I kind of like that. So if we do forward slash... Ah, I've also noticed, guys, it says join an island. So it looks like you can join other people's islands. So if you didn't want to play alone, you are able to play with friends. So if we do forward slash is create. Destroy an outpost, basic outpost, advanced outpost, only for diamond rank and above, only for... Okay, so we're going to have to go to this one. Said to be the remains of great fortress that is now nothing more than a floating rock. Information size 6x6. Six six. Features easy to complete. Destroy rank wood required. Create. So I think I'm a wooden rank, so... By the looks of things, this is our island. Welcome to your island. Forward slash... I ask help, so this is gonna help me. So, accept an invitation, forward slash chat to change your chat type, co-op, create, a start a new island. All right then, so I guess we have to start the very, very basics, which would be to make ourselves a cobblestone generator. I did manage to steal a lot of things to start off with. I don't think this guy was expecting it. He tried to play it cool like he didn't need his stuff. Ah, okay, so I figured it out. You sold 635 items. I don't think I was meant to sell the stuff that was inside of there. So I think that's just me making a mistake. So we do forward slash create. You're able to create and disable as many islands as you want. Now, if I was to right click this wand on this, it would sell the items inside of there, which obviously it's not something that we want to start by doing. This is where your default starts. Uh, this is where things start to happen from default. Unfortunately, I lost all my items from killing that guy because I got a little bit confused on how it works. Uh, but you're able to sell items. So if you had like a, a massive cobblestone gel generator, you're able to sell it. Head hunting level one mobs, cow, mushrooms, and pig. So we need to kill those. I am really curious though how... We got bone meal, so we're able to grow this, right? Yeah, okay. So this is where... This is where it would all begin. Let's do a couple of things then, and then we'll continue. So something I've just realized with this is when you're mining this, because if you rely on your island a lot, it offers different ores. So I've mined a couple of stone, and now the stone has turned into offering me uh, coal. So the more you play, I guess it's going to offer you more different ores. And I think that's a great idea. Now, since we're pretty new, it's not going to offer me like diamonds straight away. I guess that's going to be something for later on, but... I am curious, if we were to make ourselves a stone pick, would it offer me iron? Because the only way you would be able to get iron would be with the stone pick. Now it offers you gold. But that makes no sense because I'm not able to get gold with a stone pick. This is where I would need to get iron and stuff. What are these guys typing in chat? Oh, they're just having a nice conversation about PvP. I might go to them in a second and see if we can get a... See, it offers me lapis as well. Are we all pick We're not even picking these things up because of the lava, though. Let's make sure we pick these up. So this is going to be the way for me to get iron, and then you can progress through that way. Although, I don't think... We're still not picking up the lapis, dudes. So how would you get iron, then? Does it offer you iron as a, as a break? 
It might do. It offers you gold. I don't know why it offers me gold because I'm not able to use gold. We did get one of these. I don't know if it offered me any more. I don't think it's going to offer me any more. I don't think it is. Got a couple of buckets of lava. So if I ever need to make myself some more cobblestone generators, we can do that. We've also got crops as well. So food is going to be quite important. I'm not quite sure why you have this, but if you do forward slash island, it tells you go to island, toggle island chat, island bank, island quests, view island level. I can view island level, level one. We type that again. We have island quests. You must complete the head. How do I complete the headhunter then? So I think in order to get them up the headhunter, I'm going to have to kill cows, mushrooms, and pigs. But where do I go for that? So it did take me a little bit of time to get here. I had to go all the way around. There's no quick method to get here. You've got spawner merchants, so you're able to buy things. So you're able to buy pig spawners, sheep spawners, chicken, you name it. You are able to buy and sell it. So I think that's a pretty cool idea. You've got mob merchants, color merchants, farmer merchants. What does the farmer merchant offer? Farmer merchants offer melons, 25 per item, three per item. So 25, so I think that you have to buy it. Ah, okay, so you're able to sell. So it would have been really good if I'd sold all those items that we had. We have a decor, a builder, mineral, misc, food. So if you need food, you can buy food. It's actually really good. So if you have, so you're best off starting with like a spawner and stuff. I think that's where it all begins, right? So let's go back to my island. This is my first iron. So it looks like iron is in the loop. Now, once we have iron, we can then go to, we can get the gold. So there's two. A bit of this as well. So we'll be able to smelt it too. I'll be able to make myself a furnace. So this could be a really interesting server. I think they've done a pretty good job. I wish there was a way to just get rid of like chat though. Cause like some of the things, the Imperial side is quite big. I wish there was a way to toggle that on or off. We have three. We didn't even pick that one up. Darn it. I need to try and make sure I get the iron, you see. One more iron is all we need. Oh, that's a really bad idea. Looks like I'm indestructible on my island, though. Okay, we got that. So, let's just cool ourselves off. If I wanted to make myself a furnace, I can make myself a furnace. Put that there. I've already got a little bit of coal, so we're able to get ourselves an iron one. So I'm curious, with an iron pick... Is that now going to give me the offer of... Let's make some slabs as well. Make the sound a little bit bigger. I wonder now that we have iron, is it going to give me the offer of diamond? Because by the looks of... I'm not quite sure, but by the looks of things, I don't think there's any ores underneath this island. I think it's a case of... Like I died in the PvP fight. I think it's a case of you earning it all through silk touching things and buying and selling. So I think you're allowed to easily sell things with the... Uh, the hoe, but you're also able to do it another way. So let's go to this. And let's make myself an iron one. So does it, is this going to now start to offer me diamond stuff? We're going to get... There you go. It does offer you diamond stuff. Okay. It's a way to sell things. I won't try and do it until we get a spawner. All right, guys, so you're able to sell your hand. So if I do forward slash sell hand, I'm able to sell my diamonds to 400. So I'm on a balance of 1.7. Let me do forward slash sell hand. So instead of having, oops, forward slash sell hand, you're not able to sell this. I wonder if you're able to sell the, the ingots then. So we do forward slash shop. So it does take you to the shop, but it doesn't teach you by default the commands. I just want to see... I want to see 25k. So that's where it all begins. All right. And then what's the most expensive ones? Blaze, one mil. Zombie, panda spawners, witches, emerald. So I'm guessing everything can be sold. So if I do forward slash sell hand, you can't sell that. How about, what about cobble? Forward slash sell hand. You are able to sell. It's not much though. It's You really don't get much. What about lapis? What's that sell hand? Lapis is 43. It's not too bad on 2.k eh. so i thought this server was pretty good very simple very easy to understand i think after doing today's video i understand it pretty easily it's definitely something i could explore in my own time can we sell these forward slash sell hand we can sell them ah so gold gold seems to be pretty good in terms of uh selling things 
So yeah, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this server. If you're on iOS, Android, or in, even Windows 10, go and check it out, guys. I think you'd enjoy it. I think you would enjoy this. So have a great day. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you guys, hopefully, in the next server review. I'm can Yeah, so gold is going to be the thing that we need to try and harvest. I'm really intrigued with this server. Catch you guys in the next video.